We're on our way to collect some of the jury members from the airport. Currently waiting at uh, Cardiff Central Station for Heather Small and Sam Kite, who are in the international jury. Tonight was the opening, so they've been showing a couple of films, we've been interviewing loads of guests, so I've just been coming on and offering them drinks, but never actually giving them drinks. I've had the drinks. We've put on a show, we've got an ad at my... If I was want to spread a message about equality and diversity, I hope that we've played a bit of a part in that. The festival itself, uh, I've been travelling all over the world this year, just going to different festivals, but just tops the, tops the cake, to be honest. It's just a really good night. Iris is incredibly relevant right now. A festival that brings together shorts from around the world and makes sure that they're seen is incredibly important. So something like Iris is irreplaceable. Film festivals are really irreplaceable to the emerging filmmaker. I grabbed a taxi in this morning because I was late and the taxi driver was saying, where are you going? And I was like, I'm going to the cinema all day. And he was like, you get spent all day in the cinema. I was like, yeah, actually, that's not too shabby a day, is it? We arrived and instantly in the lift at the hotel, we started talking to other filmmakers, you know, and so people seem very open. And yeah, we've had some great discussions and some, met some really interesting people. Emotionally, you know, you're, you're on a journey with these amazing creative film writers and producers and actors. Some of the acting that we've seen is just out of this world. And I feel like I've been in the gym every morning <laughs> when I wake up, because I haven't done any physical exercise, but I do feel uh, physically exhausted. There's such a, a breadth of work here, and to see what other people conceive of as cinema is very educational and very inspiring. The work that Iris done is, is just brilliant, really, and, and in Wales is growing and growing each year. There's a difference in this year to attitudes towards LGBT, the films and stuff, and the content of the things. And the kids this year were definitely more receptive. When we came here this afternoon, we saw like a whole bunch of school kids. Like, yeah, which in our time, like, well, you'd never seen you'd never that. See that. You'd never school see that. School kids are a gay festival. Yeah, Please. that just went beyond. Yeah, it's my first time here, so I'm very excited to see the variety of films. I came to Iris last year, and this year me and my producer were really hoping we were going to do one better, so it's, it's a dream come true. Remboys and beyond, I just thought they were absolutely beautiful, and I'm really pleased to be like up against them. I'm pleased that they're doing well, and um, yeah, I think the lineup this year, especially of the nominated films, has been like incredible. The energy here is, is, is beautiful. It's so alive and like humble like there's as a culture like as a country like I just I literally I'm like I love Wales This weekend, um, we'll find out who's won the Irish Prize. They never tell me in advance. It's really infuriating, and I'm a journalist. because of the inclusiveness of, of Iris and to show our support but also for the emerging talent that this kind of film festival creates. I've met the most amazing people, uh, I've had the best conversations, I've been moved to tears, I've laughed more than I can remember laughing. Um, 
and I'm really, really sad to be leaving Cardiff. I think um, I feel my soul feels nourished by being here, and I, um, I can't wait to come back.